My, a lot of my research has been in the world of simulation and patient safety. So I do a lot of simulation around um, making processes safer for women, um, especially on labor and delivery. So I do a lot of research on emergencies in OBGYN and practicing them with simulation first before they actually happen and just kind of proving and looking at different methods of simulation that can help outcomes better, be better. So that's a lot of my research. I don't currently have anything going on right now, but a lot of my research in the past has been on that. So the whole concept of sim is that you get to practice on a mannequin, you get to practice and you get to make mistakes when it, the, the real life emergency is not happening. Um, and there is something said to the actual like memory of doing a process in an emergency and then actually having to do it again when you have the real life emergency. So being able to practice it on um, whether it is what you call out for help or who you call out to help you or the actual procedure with your hands that you do in the face of an emergency. If you practice that repetitively and do it more when you're faced with the, with the emergency, it just becomes that it's almost rote because you have practiced it and seen it before. And the first time you're seeing it, the first time you're doing it is not on a real patient, but on a simulated patient. So that's where the help, that's where the um, improvement comes in. Thank you.